queens so i have a show and tell for you guys today but before i get started first let me say i'm actually at my 1000 subscribers and without you guys i wouldn't have made it this far and i just want to say thank you so much Mwah. thank you thank you thank you so yes yeah, so before i get started on this unit um it's this time of year where people try to go out of their way to either um, steal, you know, rob somebody and, and, you know, get yourself in trouble just to, you know, give someone a gift. Uh, my thing is, I'm tired of seeing that stuff on the news. So you guys, you don't have to go out of your way. If you don't have it, you just don't have it. Don't overdo it. Um, I'm here, you know, if anybody, you know, know anyone that's missing some edges or maybe they got a little, you know, bit of nap here or there and, you know, you want to make your girl look nice. Um, hit me up down below you know I'll, I'll see what I can do I do charity stuff sometimes you know and give away a lot of units so yeah do that and um yeah just don't go out of your way to do what you know you're um, incapable of doing so um, anyways um, also I want to say that my um, son's girlfriend does um, make um, units um, human hair so if you guys are interested in having your um you know uh brazilian whatever type wigs you need made she will go ahead and do that for you and um, i'll leave all her information down below and i'll actually leave a clip at the end so you can see what she's capable of doing so you guys just let me know if you need wigs by karen and um, i'll leave the information down below for you all right so yeah let me get into this unit so this unit is by um vela vela or vila vila however you guys want to pronounce it um, this is called um, Eva, and I have her in the color um, BK Purple. This is her package. So let me go ahead and take the stock card out. It does say this unit is um, heat safe up to 400 degrees, so you actually can use heat on this. And if you're wondering what unit is um, this that I'm wearing, it's called um, Tabia. And um, I actually did a review on her, so I will go ahead and link that down below for you guys as well. So this is the stock card up close. And on the very, I think not the back, the middle. So let me open that up. So it tells you a little bit about the unit and then it gives you instructions how to take care of your unit, what you should do and what you should not do. So let me go ahead and take her out of the package and show you guys a little bit about Miss Eva. So I can tell you right off, there's no lace. And I'm so happy because I don't have to cut any lace. Yes. All right, so this unit comes with no lace. She does have a parting space. So I'll see if that's middle or side in a second. The actual color is very pretty. What you're seeing right now is that dark, plummy purple. So it's got like that black mixed with um, purple within um, the unit. The density is full. She feels very full. This is a yaki texture, but at the same time, she is soft. Um, shedding wise, no shedding. Praise Jesus. All right, so this is the parting up close again. On the inside of the cap, this, this cap looks like it's huge. Oh my God. All right, um, you get one comb in the back, you get the adjustable straps in the front of the unit. Let me just make sure. Oh, this is so weird. Um, you only get one comb. And it's kind of like directly in the middle, like right here. That's crazy. But do not panic, you guys. You know, you can always go to your local beauty supply store, get you a pack of combs, and sew them in your unit yourself. So don't panic. So, yeah, the luster is... It's not shiny. Um, it's kind of like just a hint of sheen, but at the same time, that dry effect. So um, if you think it's too shiny, if you were to purchase this unit, go ahead and just use some dry shampoo or baby powder. And that's going to take away some of the um, sheen. But I think it's personally, I think it's fine. So yeah, um, the cap, like I said, seems very, very large. So I, I'm assuming I'm already going to um, just let you know that it is going to be big head friendly. So, um, yeah, let me go ahead and um, finish removing the tag. And then I will try her on so you guys can see what she looks like. But before I um, break, I just want to say, you know, people feel. We all have feelings. So 
you know, if you know that you're going to do something to hurt somebody, you get that two-second spam. Two seconds just to think about it before you do it. So before you do the action that you know is going to hurt somebody, you have a choice then to not do it. So do the right thing. Do what, you know, your, your heart tells you, which your heart doesn't lie. And in that way, you know you can't have your cake and eat it too. Otherwise, you might end up losing both slices. Okay? All right, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere and do not get up from your seat. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Oh, let me put my cap on. <laughs> All right, peaches. So yeah, what I do, I just kind of fold my hair in half in the back and just kind of tuck it under my um, stocking cap. So yeah, let me go ahead and show you. So this is how the actual straps came on the inside i'm not gonna adjust them i'm just gonna go ahead and put this unit on and um let you guys know about this uh the size which i already know it's gonna be huge on my head Okay, why do I look like the lady from The Grudge? You guys seen that movie where she's like, uh. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me see. Is this a side part? Wait a minute. <clears throat> Let me line this up. Okay, I feel ear tabs, ladies, so it is a middle part. So let me go ahead and um, show you guys. I'm just going to secure the comb in the back. Ladies, yes, she is very big head friendly. Um... These units that come like this, they tend to be bulky right here by the um, the base. There's actually a way how to thin that out. Um, you would need like a um, eyebrow razor, um, something kind of like this. You get them in the beauty supply store and a needle. And the way to do it, I'm going to have to probably do a video to show you guys how to um, thin those out. But there is an actual way how to get it really thin so that it sits more flat on your um, forehead and not so bulky. So yeah, anyways, let's get back to the review. Enough chatting. Alright, so I'm lining up the ear tabs. She is very big head friendly. Oh, this, is, this hair feels so soft. It feels really pretty. Oh my gosh. Alright, let me give you a 360. So this is Eva on the left side. This is her on the right side. And for my new subbies, I'm 5'11". I'm going to walk over here so you guys can see the length in the back where it hits me. And I'll come in a little closer so you guys can see the color. Tell me that's not pretty. What's with me in these purples lately and blonde? Really pretty. So let me show you up close. So this is where she fits. So it's actually ear to ear. I'm going to tuck my hair under so you can see it. So it sits right by my um, temple. And it sits really flat. This is actually cool. I like this unit. So that's where she hits me. You know, you can always just pull a little bit of your edges out. That's the rest of the hairline. This hair feels so good. It doesn't even feel like a yakky texture now that I put her on. She's very, very um, soft. And I like the way it's not too bulky and humpy in the top. Humpy. Okay. You know what I mean, where it sticks up. <laughs> All right. So let me go ahead and um, I'm going to put some uh, powder in here because I'm not going to pluck this unit. That's what the parting space look like. So that's what she looks like, ladies. So yeah, let me use my, um, or should I say somebody's uh, powder. So this is the True Match. Um, she's in the color N7. I'm going to go ahead and put some in the parting space. So I, I took my daughter to the mall and, um, you know, my stomach didn't feel so good. And this lady was being so persistent about me trying eel. Like, eel? I don't want to try eel. He said, you sure you don't want to try? I said, no, I don't want to try. No, I don't want to try no eel. Oh. 
All right, I'm almost finished. So yeah, this is the part that I was talking about. See how it's like, well, the powder doesn't make it look so thick, but um, it is actually thick right here in, the, in that little spot. But there is actually a way how to thin that out. So if you guys purchase wigs and you know, it's like that, there's actually a way how to thin that out. So, okay, so this is what she looks like with the powder in place. It reminds me of my unit that I just did not too long ago. It's kind of like that middle part and then the hair sits really flat. Like I can't think of the name, but it's like a bright burgundy color. So if you guys watch any of the reviews, you probably know which one I'm talking about. So yeah, so this is what it looks like. Let me give you another 360. And this does have layers, but you can always trim more layers to the front to frame your face, ladies. So yeah, this is something that you could put on and just, you know, make little pigtails, go to the gym, you know, do your little workout, go to the mall, go to the movies. It could be date night as well, attire, you know. So that's what I'm talking about. See these layers right here? But you can always just trim some more. Only if you want to. I know some people don't like to alter their units, but it's just a, a suggestion. All right, so this is all I have for you today. Please let me know what you guys think. You know what? Um, before I go, let me shift it to the side so I could see what it looks like as a side part unit. Um, I'm a right side girl or a left side. Let me do the right side. Okay, these flyaways are so annoying sometimes. Okay, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. This is the hair to the side. So I know you have team middle part and team side part. So what do you guys think? I think you could wear it both ways, side part or the middle part. And just trim your, you know, the layers some more so that it's a little shorter if you don't want it this length because it's about this long. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> before I go, um, just let me know what you guys think. Um, leave me a comment um, down below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as possible. If you have any suggestions as far as styling, you know, I'm open for, um, you know, whatever you have to say. Don't hesitate, you know, to let me know. And um, I just want to say, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. As always, you are appreciated. If you're not new to my channel, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit your thumbs up. All right. So until my next review, this is all I have for you, ladies. And I'm just going to leave you on this note. So like I said earlier, you know, just try not to go out of your way to take something that doesn't belong to you just to give it as a gift. Always think about someone's heart before you go in there and try to tear it apart. And, um, you know, don't have that selfish two second moment that, you know, you could change your mind and not do something to hurt somebody's feelings. Um, and I just want you to let you know that I love you. I appreciate you and, um, take care of yourself as well. Take care of each other and, God bless you all. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And as always, I love you. One love. Mwah. <laughs>